Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for you here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over the new update to the SVG draw widget. It is now SVG draw 1.3. Um, and there's been quite a few updates. So I'll go over the updates in this video tutorial. So here I'll just click on refresh. And there we see the SVG draws and then the fill fades in. So that's one of the updates. You can now have a fill to the SVG. Uh, which is a really nice effect there. And then here, here we have the async option. So it draws and then the fill also fades in. Looks good. And then we have the one by one option where the paths draw one, one by one and the fill fades in as well. Uh, you can also hover to repeat the, the draw. So if I hover, it repeats and the fill comes in as well. And then you can click as well to have the the draw repeat looks good. So I'll go ahead and go to the widget page. So to get access to this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and here you can click on the pop-up and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Uh, the SVG draw is right here. And here you can click add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. And then I'll scroll down here and here we have the change log. It's the SVG draw widget 1.3. And here are the changes. So SVG images can now have a fill color. SVG images do not need to be edited in Adobe Illustrator before adding them to the widget. Uh, there's the ability to set the stroke width within the widget. There's the ability to add a fill after the, the SVG draws. There's the ability to set the fill color after the SVG draws. And there's the ability to set the fill fade in speed. And uh, there's the ability to add a delay before the, the SVG draws. And there's the ability to redraw the SVG on click. There's the ability to redraw the SVG on hover. There's the ability to fade out the SVG after it draws. And the on scroll widgets have has been removed. Um, and you can set the start option to in viewport to have, have the SVG draw once it is visible uh, within the browser. So it's basically the same as on scroll. So you can just set it to in viewport. And once the, the SVG is in the browser, it will draw. And the issue with SVG images not drawing in Internet Explorer has been fixed. Uh, so those are the updates there. So I'll go ahead and jump right into Adobe Muse to showcase these updates and I'll double click on the home page. So here I'll open up the library panel. Um, if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. And then here I'll just type in SVG draw and I'll go to SVG draw widget 1.3. I'll place the ad first at the top of my Adobe Muse website and then I'll bring in the SVG draw widget. So you wanna place the ad first at the top there. Okay, so then here I'll click on the widget and here we can see it says select an SVG image um, the probably the biggest update is this stroke and fill option right here, which I'll go over in a second. Um, so first we want to select an SVG image. And what's great about this new update is that you don't need to go into Adobe Illustrator and edit the SVG and take out the fill like in the prior versions. Um, you can pick any SVG you can, you know, download from the Internet. Just drop it in and you can use it. You can draw the SVG and have the fill fade in as well. So here we can see it says select an SVG image. So I'll click add file. And here I just have some SVG icons. Um, again, I didn't bring these into Adobe Illustrator. Um, it's just a design pack that I downloaded. Um, and we have uh, a few different icons here, SVG icons. So here I'll bring in Spaceman just for fun. There we have uh, Spaceman. So here in order to draw uh, this SVG, we want, we want to click on Enable Stroke Width. Okay, and then we want to set the stroke width. For this one, I'm going to set it to 0.5. I want a really thin stroke uh, for the SVG draw. For the color, um, we can do any color. I'll say I'll say black for now, so it's e easy to see. And then I want to add a fill after the SVG draws. So I'll click right here, add fill after draw. Perfect. So now if I preview this in the browser, I'll go to file. Oh, and the other thing, um, you want to make sure that design mode is not checked before you preview in the browser. I know a few of you have asked me this question. Um, you do want to make sure that before you preview in the browser, design mode is not checked. Design mode is only so that you can see the SVG when you're working with it uh, in Adobe Illustrator. So here I'll uncheck design mode before previewing in the browser, and then I'll preview. I'll go to file, preview page in browser. 
and there we can see it draws and then it fills in looks great and if I want to set the stroke width to thicker I can just change the stroke width here it's in pixels so I'll say two pixels preview in the browser and perfect and then it fills fills in looks good and I could just replace the SVG with any any SVG here and it'll draw as well so it's really convenient you don't need to go into Adobe Illustrator and kind of set the stroke paths uh, like in the previous versions looks great and yeah so there we have it and we could set enable fill color um, this usually works well with SVGs that has that have white space because then you can kind of make out what the image is if it's a solid color. Um, so here, what will happen is it'll just turn into one color. All right, looks good. I mean, yeah, it's just one color there. But for instance, if I uh, bring in one of those monograms that I had here, um, so like if I bring in this one, this is a better example, because if I check design mode, we can see the SVG. Uh, because it's lines and white space, um, the fill color will will look better with with this uh, monogram here. So I'll uncheck design mode. I'll preview in the browser, and there it draws, and then it fills. So you can still make out what the monogram is here because it's not just one solid um, image. And let's make the uh, the lines a little bit thinner. That looks good, and then it fills in. Perfect. So for instance, if I uh, if I wanted to repeat it on hover or on click, I could go to the options, and this is the, the options from the previous ver version. Uh, we just have a few uh, more options here. Um, so we can redraw the SVG on click, on hover, or on window resize. Um, and we can also set a start delay here. So if I wanted the, the widget to start two seconds later, I could put in 2000. Uh, because it's in milliseconds and it'll start 2000 milliseconds um, after and then if I click on the SVG it'll redraw the SVG so I'll preview in the browser it's two seconds there it goes and then it draws and then it fades in looks good okay and then we have fade out so you can enable fade out uh, for fade out you want to make sure that the, the the add fill after draw is not enabled because what will tend to happen is that the fade in will want to come in and then the SVG wants to fade out at the same time so it works really well with just the stroke so I'll preview in the browser and let me take the delay off here in uh, yeah, the options and for the delay I'll just say it, set it to zero so there we can see it draws and fades out so for those of you who are used to using it with the animator um, you can still do that if you'd like you could just have it fade out and then bring in uh, the element with the animator widget so let me uncheck fade out and so we went over the start delay oh yes and uh, if I wanted to redraw and click so let me preview again because it doesn't fade out we can just click and have it redraw just like that looks good or we could redraw on hover. So let me go to the options and we'll say redraw. We can do redraw on click and hover and on window resize. So you can have all three checked. So every time I hover, it'll redraw. If I click, it'll redraw. If I resize the browser, it'll redraw. Looks good. And if I wanted to have the SVG draw on scroll, what I could do is I'll just bring this down and let me add an element so we know where it is within the browser. So I'm just going to add an element here and right there just so we know that it's there. So I just brought the SVG down a little bit. So if you wanted to draw on scroll, what you do is you go into the options and you set the start to in viewport. So once the SVG is visible in the browser, it'll start drawing just like that. So I'll preview in the browser and I'll scroll down. There we see the green and there the SVG draws. And it, if we have a, we have a set to uh, redraw and hover and I'll click so it'll redraw as well. 
So there we can see it redraws on scroll or it draws on scroll. So one more time, click refresh. I'll scroll down and there we can see it draws. So that's why I decided to, to remove the on scroll widgets because it's just a bit simpler to have everything in one widget. So there we have it. We have the, um, the different um, options and let me bring this back to the top and we'll set it to the uh, start. We'll set it to auto start and then we can set it to async one by one. And there's async, all of the paths start together and finish together. And then we have one by one where the paths draw one by one. Looks good. Yeah, so I hover and it redraws. All right, so as we can see, there's there's a lot more uh, functionality that you can do with SVG draw now. You can have it fill. Um, so here if I said add fill after draw, then it would fill in after it draws. Looks good. And just for one more example, let's say you had a vector file. Um, here I have the templates open with Adobe Illustrator. This is just a, an AI, AI file that has all of the, um, let me skip this for now, that has the, the different monograms here. So for instance, if I wanted to use, um, let's see, if I wanted to use this one here, this restaurant one, just delete the background, I'll just copy this, go to file new, click okay, paste in there and let me resize it to 480, make it a little bit larger, I'll group it and position it in the center. So before we, we'd, had, we'd have to take out the fill, but now you just have to save it. Um, you know, save the SVG in a new artboard. So I'll go to File, Export, Export As, and I'll export as, here yeah, I'll just say Image 12. And oh, I want to export it as an SVG. So Export, Export As, down here just say SVG. And then say 12, and Export. Click OK. And I'll go back into Adobe Muse and just change the image here to that new image I just saved. And I'll preview and let's see how it looks. So I'll bring back design mode. There it is. Looks good, so I'll uncheck. Go to file, preview page and browser. And there it goes. And it has the fill there. Looks good. So let me change the, uh, the animation type to delayed. And the delay here and the duration are in frames. Uh, this delay is only for uh, the delayed option. It's how, how much you want to, or how long you want to wait in frames before the paths start animating. Um, and there we go. You can set it to auto start, manual, and viewport. You can set a delay. You can work with the animation timing function and the path ti timing function. And you can work with, uh, you know, redraw SVG on click, redraw SVG on hover, or redraw SVG on window resize. So I'll preview in the browser. And there we go. Looks good. Perfect. Let me take hover off. So just redraw SVG on click. Looks good. So uh, yeah, the SVG draw widget can be a lot of fun. Um, you no longer have to edit the SVG in Adobe Illustrator. It can now have a fill and you can fade out the SVG as well. And it draws in Internet Explorer as well. Um, Internet Explorer is not that great with fills, um, but it does draw the SVG um, in Internet Explorer. So that's it for this video tutorial. Um, hopefully you can find some really great uses for it. And uh, yeah, I was really happy to provide this update. And you can also add play buttons, and I went over that in the last update as well. And you also wanna make sure that uh, anytime you add a new SVG draw widget, that you give it a new instance number. So you can have multiple SVG draws. You just have to change the instance number. And I can add uh, another one in here. And let me change it to in viewport. So we'll say start in viewport. So this first one will auto start and this one will start in viewport. So there it starts, looks good. And then we go to this one 
and then it draws. Looks good. All right, perfect. Uh, so that's it for the updates for the SVG Draw widget 1.3. Uh, again, to get access to this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com, and here you can click on the pop-up, and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Uh, the SVG Draw widget is right here, and here you can click Add to Cart to purchase individually, or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. Um, so here is the preview page as well and a few other videos as well on the SVG draw widget. Um, so again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.